Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial once you've logged into um, Monarch's InDesign program, where do I go from here? So remember the first step is to come over here to the right hand side. If you open up your Monarch and or the InDesign and this little um, this little toolbar isn't there, if you press on one of these side ones, your toolbars will come up. So you're just gonna press on the Monarch one here and you're gonna go to Page Wizard. Remember, everything's gonna kind of take a few seconds to load and you're going to open or modify if you're working on your practice page, right? So you click down here and you find you. So I'm gonna find me. I'm all the way at the bottom. So practice Kohana, but you would find your name. And then you're gonna click OK. It's gonna take a couple of seconds and depending on your Wi-Fi, it may take longer. So I've already got a couple of pictures on my page, but let's pretend for a moment that I don't have these pictures. So how do I get a picture onto the page? So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to the rectangle tool here and remember, if you want to do something other than a rectangle, you can actually click this little button here. I'm going to go to the rectangle tool here. And I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than that. Now you see this green here. Remember the green represents the process photo green. So it's kind of like a green screen when you think about um, seeing things in videos. And that just means, hey, a photo is going to go here. And you can change that fill color by coming up here, okay? This is the stroke and that's the outline of this photo box. And we're not gonna mess with that just yet. We can and we can give it a border if we want to, but we're not going to. So these are our colors for our particular style guide. So we've got traditional red, traditional maze, so on and so forth, right? And then we've got a couple that say like, do not use trim line. Paper is just a fancy way of saying the color of the paper underneath and obviously black. So process color photo, if we wanted to change that box into something other than a photo box, we could actually change that, um, but we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna click on this box. Oops, sorry. We're gonna go over here to picture placer and click on that. Now remember, in order for you to use the picture placer, you actually have to have pictures. Now, immediately it's gonna come up and say, hey, this folder doesn't have any files or doesn't have any images. And you're gonna say, okay, I'm aware of that because I haven't actually picked any yet. Thank you very much. So one of the things that I should probably mention as well is that making the um, InDesign a full screen actually helps a great deal. So make sure that you have it selected as a full screen. So it defaults to team drive, which is why it's like, hey, you don't have any pictures in here. Um, so you're going to go, okay, that's fine. And then it, you're gonna go to image library and you're gonna click on activity and you should have a folder in here. So for example, we've got PR Ainsley, Amanda, and PR stands for practice, but you will have a different folder. Um, and as we go throughout the year, obviously these folders are going to change into actual not practice ones. These are going to be real folders that we are going to use. Um, so I have uploaded, I think the majority of my pictures are in demo and then Kohanim demo. Yeah, okay. So you'll see that like, hey, why can't I click on one of these pictures? That's very annoying. Am I not able to access these pictures? And the answer is no, that's not it at all. It's just that it wants the file folder. So it's not looking for the images. Like you're not gonna try and open this and actually click on the images. You're instead going to click on the file folder and then you're going to click on okay. Now I can see my images, right? So I've got to figure out what image can I put in there? I've used the IO enhance in order for me to be able to place images that are 
downloaded off of uh, either Facebook or Instagram, you can enhance those images um, so that they're better to use. So I've got one that I want to see if, we'll, if it will take it. Um, okay, so this was the original one that I had, which is Mom and Zach. And this is the one that I put on the IO Enhanced uh, website and enhanced it. So let's see if it will let me use that one. Yep, it likes that one. Okay. And then let's see if I can put another smaller one over here. Click on that and bring it over. And it likes that. Okay. So then I'm going to go, okay. And it's going to process the images. And now I've got it on this page. Okay, so remember when we're talking about selecting, there is the direct selection tool and then there's the general selection tool and they're each going to do different things. But that's how you place photos on the page. So I'm going to stop recording there um, and save this and publish it for you guys so that you can see it. By the way, if you want to go out of full screen, you just click this little button in the right hand corner and that should allow you to go out of full screen. Okay, so I'm gonna stop.